<laughs> there we go. Hi. This here is a D-Max Sidewinder revolver. And if you think it looks like uh, one of those uh, Magnum Research BFRs, well that's because this is an earlier version of it. Where uh, Magnum Research got the design for the revolver was when they bought out the D-Max company. And this one is chambered in uh, 45 long Colt or 3 inch 410 shotgun shells. And right now I've just got a round of uh, 410 number 6 shot in here. And I'm going to put it on that piece of cardboard down there and we'll see what kind of a, uh, how much of a spread we've got at 15 yards here. And then I'll try it with some 410 buckshot. <laughs> well, knock the cardboard down. <laughs> well, we'll go and have a look and see what we got. Well, as you can see, it scattered uh, the number six shot out all over the place. And I'm not surprised about, about that at all. Because it only has a six and a half inch barrel. It does have a screw in choke, but even that uh, only uh, suppresses it uh, so far. So I'll go back and load up a round of that uh, 410 double lot buckshot and we'll see what it does. Okay, I got uh, a round of that uh, double lot 410 buckshot. And it only holds, even though it's 3 inch, it only holds 5 pellets. 410 is not very big. We'll see how bad they scatter out. Go have a look here. And they scattered just as bad. One up here, one down here, one there, one there, and apparently one clear off the cardboard. We get up a little closer and try this again. Okay, we're considerably closer now. This is only about five yards, so about 15 feet. I got one round of uh, number six shot here and one round of the double-op buckshot. And I knocked a damn target down again. But you can see it's got a much closer pattern there now. See if I can zoom in on that without having to take the camera off the tripod here. You can see it folded over there, but uh, it's got a pretty tight group there now, but uh, distance is almost nothing now, too. But anyway, I'll just go ahead and try the buckshot there at about the middle of it where it sets right now. And you can see, yeah, there's five pellets there. Two of them's almost together. But still, at 15 feet, it's still got a pretty wide spread on it. But anyway, I'll move this uh, camera back uh, to normal range here, and I'll load up uh, a few rounds of each here, and we'll uh, try to get a side view of it. Okay, we'll get a couple of rounds side view of it. And the first round is number six shot, second shot is... Uh, Double lot buckshot. And the buckshot actually seems to have uh, less recoil than the number six shot does. 
I'm going to do something a little different here before I uh, change it out and uh, try some 45 cold in it. I'm going to put out a couple of 2 liter pop bottles here and see what the shot does to them. Okay, let's see what the, some number 6 shot does to one of these 2 liter pop bottles out here. Range isn't very far, maybe 6-7 yards. Well, perhaps that's a little too close. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to leave the camera up here fairly close to the target, but I'm going to get back about 15 yards to do the shooting with this number six shot, and we'll see what it does to that two liter pop bottle. Ah, there we go. That was kind of the effect I was looking for. Okay, I've got this thing loaded up with some uh, 45 long colts, some pretty stiff loads even. But on uh, this gun, it has a screw-in choke. And before you fire 45 colt ammo out of this thing, the choke has to be removed. And you shouldn't fire the 410 shells without having the choke in because it may damage the, the threads on uh, where the choke screws in. But anyway, I'm going to try a few of these on the steel targets here. And like I said, these are pretty heavy loads for 45 Colt, but this, uh, this gun is designed to handle uh, very hot loads. Missed one. Tried a little target. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, it uh, it handles uh, pretty hot loads without any trouble at all. But it's a big gun. Okay, let's see if we can get a side view of being shot with a 45 Colt ammo. I missed one. Okay, I may uh, put the choke back in this thing and uh, try a couple of rounds of the buckshot on uh, steel targets. Okay, I've got the choke put back in the thing. You can see it there. And I've got it loaded up with uh, six rounds of double lot buckshot. We'll try it on the steel targets. Be kind of neat if you could hit all three of them at the same time, but uh, considering that there's only five pellets per shell, that's not very likely, even though it probably might have enough uh, spread to do it. Don't think it even hit one of them. There at least a couple of pellets got on it. Oh well, I suppose I should have been closer to it, but uh, with uh, lead pellets and steel targets, I'm not sure I want to get any closer. The D-Max Sidewinder is basically an overgrown Ruger Super Blackhawk. 
And like I said, this one is chambered in 45 Colt and 410 shot shells. Has a six and a half inch barrel with a screw in choke that you have to remove before you can fire 45 Colt through it. Let's see if I can get these markings to show up here. And look at the serial number there, 204. I don't believe D-Max ever made a whole lot of these guns. D-Max was a little uh, three-man operation. And eventually they got bought out by Magnum Research. And the Sidewinder uh, guns became uh, uh, the Magnum Research uh, BFR revolver. Yeah, there's a sidewinder name there on the side of it. It's a six shot. And these were also made in very limited numbers in other calibers just before uh, uh, Magnum Research bought them out. There were some made in 4570. And at least they had plans to uh, make them in several other calibers. And they also made some short framed ones in 45 Colt and 454 Casul. But I wanted to give you a good close up look at it here before I uh, started cleaning on it. I did a video uh, more than a year ago on this one and the 4570, a non shooting video, that gives a lot more information. If you're interested in more in information and history on that, uh, go back through my early videos and you'll find that one. It'll give you a lot more information. I would uh, normally uh, link the two videos together. However, YouTube says that uh, video responses are going away, so there ain't much point in doing it if it's just going to go away in a few days. But I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for uh, guns, knives, and watches. And I'll put a link to the channel in the description of this video. If you have a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.